Hello, welcome to the latest video of Benson on YouTube and uh, well, here is Eurosport player. We're going to have a look live. Um, it's uh, 7.34, Wednesday the 27th of April 2016. Let's see what's on Eurosport player right now. Let's tell you how good the service is, how you can access it, uh, how I'm accessing it. Uh, so here we go, I'm using uh, my laptop at the minute. Um, so when you log in, uh, you can choose your favourite sport, cycling, snooker, rugby, swimming, etc. And you can pick your favourites and it will personalise your screen. I'm just going to minimise that. So this is the, the front screen. I've also got it there, streaming on my TV. Uh, I haven't got a Google Chromecast device or anything like that. So this is the snooker. John Higgins and Alan McManus in the uh, Crucible quarter final. I'm just going to make that full screen like that. Pretty good picture, and the commentary on Eurosport Snooker is brilliant. I know it's on BBC, um, but they also have studio coverage with Colin Murray presenting on Eurosport with uh, studio analysis from Neil Folds, who does ITV4's coverage as well, and Jimmy White. It really is good coverage, and both tables are always on Eurosport as well, uh, whereas on Freeview, uh, they, sometimes they only tend to have one table. So it's, it is, it's there, good coverage, and the, the frames themselves are uninterrupted. Uh, you know, just going for quick breaks uh, whilst you know they're setting up the balls again. Oh, Higgins doesn't look happy there, does he? Oh yeah, well. Uh, anyway, I'm just going to press escape and uh, well, actually, I'm just going to move the cursor over. So there you go. For moving, this is showing Eurosport one at the moment. On Eurosport two, there's more snooker, and there's also, if you don't want the studio analysis, coverage of table one and table two. There's also live squash. So should we flick to the squash? Let's see what, what's that about. Uh, so this is the Elguna International, the men's quarterfinal. Now there's no room for this on a Eurosport channel, one or two, because of the snooker. But because you're a Eurosport player subscriber, you can watch it. Nothing wrong with that picture at all. Uh, again, Eurosport has some great sports that aren't covered uh, you know, on Freeview and by Sky and by BT. Uh, and... You know, the, the, the coverage is quite definitive. It isn't just the, the two Eurosport channels anymore. There's lots of sports to choose from, uh, you know, seven days a week. Uh, as well as that, so let's see what else is on. If I just pan down the list, there's also ATP Tennis as well uh, on right now. So there you go. That's live. It's just buffering. Really easy to do. Uh, I've also got Eurosport player on my tablet, and there's no there's no tennis on at the moment. Uh there's a few people sat around though, uh, waiting for the tennis. It looks like there's a Brit on there. Kyle Edmund, good luck to you. So these are the recently added videos, and uh, for example, the short ones there. Um, Kyron Wilson playing Mark Selby. There's full versions of the the squash, um, but you can also go down to all sports and actually select which sport you want to watch. So if I, for example, want to watch, let's say football, click on that. And then this all these videos there with news, etc. But let's change the sport. Let's go to Superbike. There you go. And there's all these different race highlights from recent uh, races. Snooker is extensive. Let's go on Snooker just there. So you've got all the quarterfinals matches. You've got Day nine, day eight, day six, day about a week's worth there of crucible coverage, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, it really is easy to use. If you can't, if you want to plan your viewing even more, there's a TV schedule at the top, so that tells me that it's approaching eight o'clock. And uh, again, uh, this shows you what you, what you can uh, expect to see. So the squash during the course of the evening, which will carry on. Um, there's also, by the looks of it, later on, the Tour of Turkey on Eurosport uh, 2, uh, and also basketball later on as well. You can also select by the week and by the month. So if I, let's go to Saturday. Saturday's a pretty busy day on Eurosport. Tour de Yorkshire's going to be on there. Uh, we've also got uh, more squash as well. Uh, so let's just, there's also super bikes. If I go across like that, super bikes there. Lots of different sports, like you can, like you can see, um, and 
as I say, it's available on lots of different devices. You've got Google Chromecast where you can download the app. It's available if you really want to on an Android phone. So that's the live uh, Eurosport feed there of the Higgins McManus match. But take a look at this. This is the snow in Bradford tonight. That Now, that is rather impressive, isn't it? It's like one of them globes that you used to shake, isn't it? Uh, uh, whether or not it'll stick or not, I'm not so sure. But it's May at weekend. Snow, what's going on? Um, but anyway, this is the cover. So there you go. That's... Uh, Higgins and McManus there on Eurosport. Uh, how does that compare to the BBC coverage if you're a snooker fan and free view coverage? Well, Eurosport um, this season, I believe, had 19 tournaments, which is astounding. They had studio coverage at the German Masters. Uh, they had full coverage at the Welsh Open. BBC uh, Red Button has coverage of the Welsh Open, but Eurosports is definitely more extensive. Um Whereas um, for other events, the China Open, you don't get that on Freeview. Uh, they also have uh, full coverage of the snooker PTC as well. Um, BBC's coverage is, is good and ITV4 are getting more snooker, but Eurosport has more tournaments than any other broadcaster. So if you do like your snooker, uh, Eurosport is definitely worth subscribing to. And I'm a big, big snooker fan. Um, this is BBC's feed tonight of the... Hawkins and Fu match. Uh, Fu winning 10 8 there as I speak. Uh, but there is 7.44 and the coverage on BBC2 ends 8 o'clock. So I'll tell you exactly what's going to happen at 8 o'clock. The Higgins and McManus match is going to go off. Uh, so unless you have a device like an ITV box or um, a laptop to watch the snooker on, you won't be able to watch the Higgins and McManus match on Freeview. With Eurosport, once you subscribe to it, you haven't got that problem. You, as I say, you have easy access to both tables, uh, uninterrupted, and you're not going to flick between the channels. You know exactly uh, what time the snooker starts and what feed you want to watch, and that's it. You can leave it running. So I'm just going to go back to the coverage. And as well, the other thing, uh, when BBC Red Button has a snooker on, uh, they can kind of show a few kind of promo videos in the 15-minute gap. Eurosport has that. As I mentioned before, that studio coverage, uh, you know, we're looking at the analysis of the frames played, which is really, really good. Uh, so thumbs up to that. Uh, so that's Eurosport Player at the moment. Check it out, eurosportplayer.co.uk. Sign up, see what you think. Uh, and please do let us know at www.sportonfreeviewuk.wordpress.com.